showing you how to make this ambidextrous gun table. It's so easy, a 15-year-old can do it, just like me. And I did it in one day, by myself. Okay, first thing, we're going to run oak boards through the planer and get them down to an inch thick. You could use 2x6s for this, but I don't have any, so I'm going to make 1x6s. Cut this 2 by 6 to 45 inches. Now, cut two more 2 by 6s, both at 30 inches. Cut two boards at 15 inches. Cut two boards at 18 inches. Start off by making a mark on both sides of the 4 foot line. Then you're going to cut this off, making a square that will be 4 feet by 4 feet. From the same line you measured your 4 foot piece, you're going to measure 2 and a half feet down, and you're going to make a line on either side, and then you're going to connect them with a straight edge. Measure 15 inches in from either side at the 2 and a half foot mark and the 4 foot mark, or the end of your board now, and then connect the lines. Now with your circular saw, you will cut out the two other rectangles. I'm using a pocket drill bit because this is a table surface and you're going to want a flat surface. This right here will give you a good idea of what one edge of your table will look like. It's screwed in all along the top. You're going to need to cut four four inch pieces and four five inch pieces from your two by six. I already have them pre-measured. Next you'll need to cut a piece that is 13 inches long of your 2x6. Now you should have your 5 4x4s that are cut at 2.5 feet, your 2x6s that are cut at 4 inches, and your 2x6s that are cut at 5 inches, and then a 13 inch piece. Next, you're going to want to attach your 5 inch piece to your 4 inch piece at a right angle like this. That's all there is to it. Okay, right here we have our four right angles. We're going to take them over to our bench. Okay, now you're going to place your 4x4 four four in the corner of a table. 
and then you're going to get your right angle. The right angle should fit snugly up against the 4x4. Four four. You'll screw it in. You don't want it too tight because you want the 4x4 four four to still be removable so that you can remove your legs when you're either stowing it or transporting it. Next, you're going to put your screws in. Your 4x4 should slip in and out easily. Here's a top view of what it should look like. Okay, now that all the legs are in, you're going to get your, I believe it's a 13 inch 2x6, and you're going to drill out both ends, and you're going to put your screws in them. Again, you're going to want to have it a distance apart so the 4x4 will fit in and out snugly, and this 4x4 is going to be what our bench will attach to. Now that everything's built, and your angles in, you're going to want to drill out a hole that will fit the size of your bolt. You want the bolt to snugly fit in, that way your leg can't come out, and then it can also be removed for easy storage. You're going to also want to drill out a place for a bolt in the rear bench leg. Now that we've stood up our table, it's time to build a bench. Right here at the 16 inch mark, I placed one of my 2x4 scraps. You're going to want to repeat this for the other side. I'm going to measure out 16 inches. Screw this in. This is going to be what your bench is going to sit on. Mark out two bench seats at 20 inches and then make your cuts on the cutoff saw. I've already pre-drilled the left side. I have to screw it in and I have to screw it into the right side. This right here is my bench component of the table.